Hello and welcome. This is um, the LXL. Uh, this is <coughs> the Solomon paper. Okay, this is paper A, question one. A very, very quick question. Okay. Uh, <coughs> the first one is we're told that the uh, it's 27 over the square root of 7, and we're asked to put it in the form k root 7, where k is some kind of integer. Okay. So you make a, how the hell are we going to do that? Um, well, you have to remember, the key with this is rationalising the denominator. So, just a, a word of notice, you never, in C1, ever leave a third on the bottom. However, we can't actually change the value of that, so we've got to times it by something that's equal to 1. But that something that's equal to 1 also has to be something which removes this third off the bottom. And the only way of changing the third into a normal number, okay, is by timesing it by itself, okay? So in other words, we times root seven by root seven, that will give us seven, okay? So therefore, root seven, as it's likely to be some kind of fraction, the root seven has to be on the bottom, okay? So therefore, as we can only times it by one, we have to times it by root seven over root seven, okay? Which obviously gets us 21 root seven over seven. However, the key with this, I mean, you should spot it anyway, uh, but it asks you to give it in the form k root seven. Okay, so obviously that's not the end of it. Okay, so 21 over 7 is obviously 3, so it's 3 root 7. And I, I would just as well state the fact that therefore k is equal to 3. Alright, but I mean 3 root 7 is your answer. But because it's got it k root 7, there's no harm in stating what k is as well. Okay, now this next bit again, another indice rule. Um, you always flip the fraction. Now, the key with this is we've got an 8 to the power of negative a third, okay? Um, and I think the best way to think about this, you don't flip this fraction up. You can almost think of it as this, okay? So, if we call it as um, x to the power of negative a third, okay, what you would do to make that one positive is you'd go 1 over x to the third, okay? So, basically, when you flip this fraction, you turn the power positive. Okay, so we're going to do a similar thing here. However, because this is essentially 8, it's essentially 8 over 1. Okay, so when we flip the fraction, we get an 8. And that 8 is all to the power of a third. Okay, so in other words, you, the bottom number is the uh, power, what you cube it to. So the root, sorry, and the top number is the power. Okay, so you cube root it and then times it to the power 1. But as times it to the power 1 is the same as times it by 1, we just leave it as the cube root of it. Okay, but really you should show you're doing it to the power 1 as well, but it, as I say, it doesn't matter. So obviously that just becomes equal to a half. Okay, and then that's your answer to question 1. As I said, a very, very quick question, um, so nothing that takes up too much time. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next question. Is there any questions, of, any questions or anything about that? Uh, I might have done it a little bit too quickly. Please do let me know. And obviously I'll get back to you in the comments. Uh, but we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.